this is Chuck Vestal with the Winston and Recreation and Parks Department. I am the Adult Recreation Program Supervisor. And uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the game of bocce here in a very short couple of minutes. Uh, the game of bocce, we play it here normally here in Miller Park, but you'll be able to play it at home here while you're uh, in our shelter in place. And um, I want to just give you the finer points of the game. The first off, we have the Polino. The object of the game is to get your balls closer than your opponent with this little white ball. Here's an example of what the bocce ball looks like. Now my photographer here, my video is going to show you there is a foul line on the court. It's not on the court, but it's on the sides here. We must stay behind that foul line as we play the game. The determination of who plays first is either a coin toss or just a friendly, hey, you go first. So here's our first throw. The Polino goes out. Now, as the Polino goes, you will notice there are two white lines there on the court. The Polino must go past midcourt, and it must remain 12 inches off any board once it stops. Whoever threw the Polino out first will then go. So Jim here's got red. He threw the Polino. Jim's going to go next. This is the only time we alternate. Chuck here with the green is going to go next to try to get his ball closer than Jim's. Right now, green is closer. This is the one hardest rule of the game. Whoever's furthest away will go. So the call would be green's point, red roll. All right. Here we go. So Red's going to roll since they're furthest away, trying to get theirs closer than, than the green. All right, so now Red's closer. So Green's away, so Green's going to go. Green's going to try to get closer than Red. Remember, the point of the game is to get your, your balls closer than your opponent's balls to the Polino. We're going to go down and take a look at this here just as these points are finished. All right, now, strangely enough, the Green's all done, so they are out. So Red's got these last two to try to get some more points. Okay, as my videographer follows me down, we're going to come down and take a look at how this ended up. Remembering or knowing that only one person can score in each frame. Come on. Uh, therefore, we have the closest ball out of everybody is this nice red one. So there's a point for Red. Okay, so there we go. Red's got a point. Now we look at it and the red ball here is still closer than the closest green. Therefore, red's got two points. And then we stop the scoring because the green's the next closest. We normally play with our senior games events. By the way, if you're 50 or better, we're looking for you. Uh, we normally play to five frames or seven points constitutes a game. So it's a cerebral game, it's a game of strategy, but you've got to then uh, to uh, deliver upon your strategy. So check out Bocce. If you've got a golf ball and some softballs at home, create your own game and play it the way you don't want to play it, but get out and play. This is Chuck Vestal. If you have questions, call me 336-727-2325. Be safe.